and uh, uh, first of all i would like to thank the organizing committee for providing me a chance to present my talk in this webinar myself dr mohammad yunus bhat and i am the assistant professor at department of mathematical sciences islamic university of science and technology avantipura jammu and kashmir india today i am going to talk about wigner willi distribution associated with the quaternion quadratic phase fourier transform So uh, in this talk, we we'll talk about these contents. We will have some introduction. Sorry for interruption, professor. Results. Then we will talk about yes. Professor, can you click the green circle in your screen for making full screen? In the left part of your screen. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have some uh, preliminary results. Then we will have uh, we obtained the Wigner Willi distribution associated with the Quaternion quadratic phase Fourier transform. Then we obtained the convolution and correlation terms for this transform. And lastly, we have some references. So let us uh, start from the introduction part. The quadratic phase Fourier transform that we will denote by Q P F T. Uh, introduced by Castro and his uh, colleagues uh, that is given in the references one and two is the superlative generalized version of the Fourier transform. This novel transform has overthrown our the applicable signal processing tools as it provides a unified analysis of both transient and non-transient signals in an easy and insightful fashion. The QPFT is actually a generalization of several well-known transforms like Fourier fractional transform Uh, Fourier transform, fractional Fourier, and linear canonical transforms, whose kernel is in the exponential form. As a generalization of the real and complex Fourier transform, the Quaternion Fourier transform (QP) uh, (QFT) is the is of, of the interest of researchers in this present area. Uh, the researcher, the researchers community has successfully studied the useful properties of QFT, including modulation, shift, differentiation, energy conservation, convolution, correlation theorems, uncertainty principles, and many more. The Quaternion Fourier transform plays an important role in the representation of multi-dimensional signals. It transforms a real or quaternionic 2D signal into a quaternionic valued frequency domain signal. The four components of the this QFT separates four cases of the symmetry into real signals instead of only two, as in the complex Fourier transform. So, in this section, we mainly review some basic fact, facts on the Quaternion algebra and the Quaternion quadratic phase Fourier transform. So, the Quaternion algebra this is an extension of the complex number to 4D algebra. It was invented by W. R. Hamilton in 1843 and classically denoted by this fancy H for in his honor. Every element of this fancy H has a Cartesian form that is given by this equation, uh, where this uh, this Q I belongs to. These are the real numbers for I from one to three, and I J K are the imaginary units, and these obey the Hamiltonian's multiplication rules. Like I square is equal to J square is equal to K square is equal to minus one and this equation. Uh, let Q this uh, Q naught and Q is equal to this denotes the real scalar part and the vector part of the quaternion number this Q. Then from the um, uh, then from the references to entry, the real uh, scalar part has a cyclic multiplication symmetry that is given by this equation first. The conjugate of the quaternion Q is defined by this Q naught. Q bar is equal to this uh, equation, and the norm of Q that belongs to this fancy H is defined by this equation. It is easy to verify that the bar of PQ is equal to QP bar, and modulus of uh, PQ is equal to mod Q mod P for all PQ belonging to this fancy H. The quaternion modulus of this uh, function space L to R square H are defined by these functions. Uh, these are the functions from R square to H with the, this restriction. We now introduce an inner product of the quaternion functions f and g defined on L to R square H that that is given. But the inner product is defined by this equation with the symmetric real part, real scalar part given by these equations. The associated scalar norm of f of x belonging to this space is defined by this norm of f is the inner product of f and f, and this is given by this integral form. So we have lemma 2.1 uh, that uh, is proved in the uh, reference third. If uh, f and g belongs to this function space, 
then the Cauchy Shiva's inequality holds here. And if and only if here is a condition that f must be equal to minus lambda g for some quaternionic parameter, this lambda belonging to h. The, the, uh, when we have f is equal to minus lambda g, we will have this inequality will be replaced by the equality. So in, in this next subsection, we will introduce the definition of novel 2D hypercomplex, or this is called a quaternionic quadratic phase Fourier transform, which is a generalization of the classical quadratic phase Fourier transform. Because of the non-commutative property of quaternionic multiplication, there are three types of the quadratic uh, QQPFT, the left-sided, the right-sided, and the two-sided QQPFT. In this paper, we mainly focus on two-sided QQPFT. So uh, this definition of QQ uh, PFT is given by let mu s denotes this matrix for s is equal to one to two. Then the two-sided QQ PFT of any signal f belonging to this function space is defined by these equation equation second where this bold W this is the tuple and it belongs to R square. Similarly, this bold T belonging to R square and we have these kernels. These are given by this uh, this lambda i and lambda j, these are the two kernels which are given by the equation three and four. So we have a reconstruction formula for this QQPFT that every signal f belonging to L to R square can be reconstructed back by the formula given by this equation 2.6. Similarly, we have the planchial formula for this, uh, the, uh, for this transform that if uh, we have too many functions f and g belonging to this function species, then the inner product is uh, so, uh, inner product of these f and g uh, uh, satisfies this equation for, uh, f and the norm of f is given by this equation series. Now here from, from this section, our work starts. In this section, we introduce the definition of novel integral transform coined as the wigner willi distribution associated with the quaternionic quadratic phase Fourier transform. Now, this transform is constructed by substituting the quadratic phase Fourier kernel with the quaternionic quadratic phase Fourier kernel in the quadratic phase wigner willi distribution, distribution definitions that are given in the references 3 and 2. Further, we investigate some basic properties of this transform which are useful in signal processing. So we first of all, we provided the definition uh, like this, let mu s be this matrix as defined earlier, be a given set of real parameters with BS not equal to zero, then the cross wigner willi distribution associated with this two-sided quaternionic quadratic phase Fourier transform for any signals F and G belonging to this function spaces are given by, this is given, this wigner willi distribution is given by this equation seven, where this fancy W, this is the tuple that also belongs to here R square, and these are the two kernels which are given by the equations three and four as defined earlier respectively. So if we take F is equal to G in the definition provided, then we will call it, call it as an auto wigner willi distribution. And this is denoted as a fancy a omega F uh, mu one mu two uh, bold T omega and is defined by this equation eight. Let us define the quaternionic correlation product given by this equation. Then seven can be reshaped as as uh, given by the equation nine. If we apply the inverse quaternionic quadratic phase Fourier transform on both sides of this equation nine, then we obtain this equation, which implies that this, the, uh, this correlation is defined by this equation 10. By varying the parameters, this mu is the proposed transform that we gave, that we gave in, the, uh, in the definition in the, um, in the equation seven, this boils down to various well-known integral transforms associated with the wigner willi distribution. For example, if we take this matrix mu1 as 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, and mu2 is equal to 0, minus 1, 0, 0, and 0, we will have the quaternionic wigner willi distribution. And if we take uh, and this matrix as cot theta1 minus cosec theta1 cot theta1, 0, 0, and mu2 like this, we will have quaternionic fractional wigner willi distribution. Now, prior to in investigating the properties of this transform, we will establish its relation with the quaternionic wigner willi distribution. So from definition four, we obtained this uh, property, which uh, represents quaternionic wigner willi distribution. So in this sub uh, subsection, we establish some fundamental properties of this transform. These properties are vital in signal processing 
and we present some general properties of the novel wigner willi distribution and their detailed proofs so uh, we first of uh, first of all we obtained this theorem that is actually the complex conjugate for any fun uh, functions f and g belong to this function space we have we obtained this equation l1 where this mu s is equal to uh, this matrix s minus a s minus b s and so on for s is equal to 1 2 we skip the proof here because we have not yet uh, published this paper next we obtained the symmetric conjugation uh, symmetry conjugation um the result is so that means that if we have any function f belonging to this function space and it is a quaternionic signal then we have the equation 12 next we uh, establish the non linearity of this wigner willi distribution which states that the wigner willi distribution does not satisfy the super position principle which is not suitable to the analysis of multi component signals so we obtained the non linearity result for this these functions for this transform for, and the boundedness property for the proposed transform that is given in the shape of these two theorems so the following theorems guarantees the reconstruction of reconstruction of the input quaternionic signal from the corresponding wigner willi distribution quadratic quaternionic uh, phase fourier transform with uh, with a within a constant factor so we we have provided in this paper we are we have uh, studied we have obtained the reconstruction formula how we can reconstruct a signal back and we have also obtained the muellers formula for this proposed transform so uh, next we have obtained the convolution and correlation theorems for this proposed transform so convolution and correlation operations are Uh, fundamental um, are fundamental signal processing algorithms in the theory of linear time variant systems pattern recognition signal detection and optics in the following we first define the convolution and correlation for this transform then they um, they are the extensions of the convolution and correlation definitions that are already provided in the uh, literature we then establish the convolution and correlation theorems for the wigner willi distribution associated with quaternionic quadratic phase fourier transform but due to the non commutativity of the quaternionic exponential components and quaternion multiplication we only establish a special condition of the convolution and correlation theorems for this transform so we first of all provided the definition of the convolution operator how we can define the convolution operator uh, for this proposed uh, transform so as a consequence of above definitions we get the following important theorem which invokes the wigner willi distribution to separate the unwanted components appearing appearing in the input signals and see its effect on the convolution given by the uh, equation 17 so we have obtained the convolution theorem the well known theorem for this wigner willi uh, distribution quaternionic um, quadratic phase linear canonical transform next we have first of all we defined the correlation operator and similarly then we obtained the correlation theorem for this proposed transform so first of all we provided the correlation definition for this transform so we have then the correlation theorem for let f and g belong to uh, l to r square be the two real valued signals if we uh, assume this a uh, real valued function then the following result holds means we have obtained the correlation result for this transform so the conclusion of this paper is in this paper we presented a novel concept of quaternionic wigner willi distribution in the quaternionic quadratic phase fourier transform settings based on the properties of this transform and classical quaternion wigner willi distribution the relation between these two notions are present important properties such as complex conjugate symmetry conjugation non linearity boundedness reconstruction formula muellers formula planchet formula are derived finally we have obtained the convolution and correlation theorems for this proposed transform these are the some of the references that we have used for this work and thanks for your kind attention